Okay, folks, so I wanted to come at you with a quick explainer for the reading reaction three paper. Uh, this is gonna kind of be a culmination of what we've learned over the semester and a build up to the final assignment, uh, which I will also post a video about uh, too, like I have with these other ones in the past. So I just wanted to go over this quickly so you can get a bit of background of what uh, the assignment is and what I'm expecting of you. So, um, find it first. Methodologies. Okay. Uh, all right. So, um, so this paper is not too distinct from what you've done in the past, but uh, it will, the way you respond to it is slightly different. So, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, intersectionality in terms of issues uh, and really have you flesh this out a bit more. You did talk a little bit about this with Black and Brown communities um, in Reading Reaction 2, but in Reading Reaction 3, I'd like you to actually do this a bit more with some other uh, communities. And so essentially, um, we're going to have you do a deeper dive on how one of these issues here that I've shared, poverty, educational inequality, slavery, labor, and work exploitation, housing segregation and theft, uh, food insecurity, yada, 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 how all of those affect at least two communities, right? And you can pick either or, or you can do multiple, right? So you can do at least two or more than two, okay? And so uh, you will basically flesh that out in a either, you know, half paragraph or paragraph response, right? Uh, uh, using um, examples from the text and lecture, okay? Um, and uh, so essentially you're going to answer two questions, um, but they should build on each other and again are kind of culminate. So first, I just wanna know, what do you think was the most interesting to learn this semester, right? And just respond to that with some information from the course, right? So uh, at least, cite or make reference to um, some uh, course materials. And then secondly, you know, how are these various communities of color affected by one major social issue outlined from the list above? And again, remember that you need to reference at least two. So in a long paragraph or in a multi-paragraph framework, tell me what has been the most interesting thing that you've learned about and how have multiple communities been affected by one central social issue, okay? The reason why this is important is that when you guys get ready to do your final, which is gonna be a social media post, um, you're going to actually discuss this issue in more detail. And I want you to constantly be thinking about the course materials that we review and be referencing those. So one thing that is gonna be different about this assignment from other ones is that instead of in previous reading reaction papers where you responded to three questions, you're only responding to two questions in here. So you're gonna to need to respond to two questions and then each of those two questions is gonna need three examples, okay? So it's like the video analysis. So answer the question, have three examples from course materials, which can be reading or lecture, okay? So I'm gonna leave you with some freedom in terms of that. However, and then same for the second question, right? So one question, three cite citations, course references, again, um, lecture slides, uh, reading materials, no videos though, okay? I see folks doing that a lot. That's not the requirement here or not the expectation here. I want you to go back to the written materials and text that I provided you with either my lectures or the course readings, okay? So make sure that when you respond to these questions, you include three sources. The th sources can be either readings or, um, I'm sorry, readings or uh, uh, course lectures, okay? So um, differences here, two questions, three responses, uh, six total references, three from lecture, three from course readings, no videos, okay? Um, I provided a small structure here, as you can see. So intro, briefly describe how the course has helped you better understand these concepts and that central issue facing communities of color. Um, and basically, whatever you've learned about should be that thing that you're kind of talking about in your second response, right? Your body paragraph should be um, all of those sources, or I'm sorry, responding to those two questions, 
using those sources, three from each, right? Again, here, I'll even add this in here. So three from course readings and three from lecture, okay? Uh, four, six total, all right? And then a conclusion that just rounds it all out, all right? So other requirements, Times New Roman 12 point font, one inch margins, 500 words uh, or two pages, double space, right? Okay, same standard grading rubric, two points for grammar and syntax, six points for appropriate use of sources. So the citations and you using them well. So remember that it's not about just adding in a quote, you gotta make sure it makes sense to whatever you're arguing, right? And then two for the general flow of the essay. So make sure that, you know, um, writing well, having that verified, making sure that it's logically cohesive, so on and so forth, and you're, um, you're uh, incorporating all of those, right? And again, I provided you with the general structure here. You don't have to follow that, although I would suggest it because it's just going to make it much more easier for you, all right? Uh, and with always, I'll always apply fractions of point to make sure that you get some flexibility and you're not losing all points if there's something amiss. Uh, and always come see me, right? So go to the writing center, take this to them. Um, you know, if you need support, email me, come see me. We can talk about your papers. Uh, I know the deadline's coming up, so it might be a little bit short on time. And I'm sorry for getting this um, to you a little bit um, behind the gun, um, but get that in as soon as possible. Um, with that, if you have any questions, always feel free to email me. Uh, I'll be around, you know, to respond to any questions that you might have. Uh, and with that, I thank you again for tuning in and I look forward to reading your papers.